hello friends please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos hello friends welcome back to the channel today we are going to learn how to query from semi structured data like json stored in snowflake so first thing which we need to remember that the column which save the data its type must be variant so variant is a data type which can store json and array format data now let's start it so first i am going to show you how you can create table and load json data into your table so this is the my snowflake account and here i am going to create the table going to database and i am going to name the table as json data and going to add one column and column name will be as source and then data type is variant this so hit finish table is created now we need to load the data so for that i have created this json file and there i have given the name the uh, channel then start year age location and language so this is the json and key name are here and these are the values so i am going to upload this data into our snowflake so how we can do this so we need to just select the table and we have this option load data just select load data and here we have the warehouse name then we need to click on next then load file from your computer and load file from s3 so you can just upload the s3 files also so i have in my local directory so just need to select this data dot json and then hit next and here we need to select the file format so in list we don't have any file format so i need to add this and i'm naming it as uh, json data format then schema name is public then csv not this is our json file now compression method so file will be auto comp uh, compressed then enable octal so it will uh, if if uh, if there is any octal character then it will uh, pass then allow duplicate key so if we have any duplicate uh, duplicate key like uh, if we have name two times then it will just uh, calculate or get only the last one so strip out array so if we have the array signs or these square bracket from uh, start and end point and strip null values ignore utf8 errors so you can just select uh, for now ignore utf8 errors and then hit finish okay so you can have this sql also so by using this query you can create the file format so there is no need so i'm just hitting on finish and now json data format i have selected now just select all on load or you can see from here what is happening in background so put as we have done in our previous video so file and the path the file json data this is the temporary uh, staging table where we are uh, saving the uh, file and this is the copy command copy into the demo db then public schema then table name from the stage and file format is this so file format we are using json data format so i am closing it and then hit on load so it's loading encrypting files and yes row pass because we have only one row and rows loaded one so hit on okay so let's see whether we have the data or not so select start from json data so yes we are having the data right so it's in the uh, alphabetical order age then chain uh, channel then language location name and start year so just close it now let's start with our code 
so this is my previous code i'm just going to copy okay so i'll show you on ui itself how we can have the data and then we will use the same query into our code so select how we can have this so first we need to give the column name then we need to use this colon and then if we want to have the name then the key name will be case sensitive uh, case sensitive if you use uh, caps uh, name then it will give you error or uh, not the error or, or just it will uh, give the null value because there is no key name so select uh, source colon name from json data let me just run it so yes we are getting null so if i'll give small m then it will give you the name yes so we are getting the name and it is uh, giving us the colon also oh sorry uh, inverted comma also so how we can get it from it so we need to just pass the data type also so string and it will give you the actual value as we need so achilles string now uh, i'm just giving the alias name then we need to have the uh, age name age and if we want to give the integer value then we will give data type integer integer and let's run it yes we are getting age 30 name akhilesh so i'm giving the alias also then same src then channel string as channel okay so i'm doing like this source from this. okay so again source what else we have uh, where is the file so start here location and language okay so language spelling is wrong so we need to use the same so source language as string as language then again source then what else we need location and start here location and then it is also string then start here start here and this is also okay so i have given as string so i'll use as string or we can use integer as a start here start here okay now let's this query okay okay start here yes so here we are getting as integer right so we can just uh, type cars also uh, from this uh, query right so now we are going to use the same in our code so likewise you can have all the data from json file so I'm just going to copy it and let's implement this in our code. So first I'm going to create one new script. So naming it as JSON data and paste, copy and paste the data here. And now I need to update the config file to have the table name of JSON data. So I have skipped that part and now I'm going to remove these codes because we don't want to put any file on stage and copy the same into our table. So I'm going to use this only and now here I need to pass the query. Okay, what is happening? Okay, okay so query is here and then this. So it is giving error because of this so I'm going to normalize it like this yes so here I'm going to 
class like this dot format dot config sorry like this config dot json table and i'm going to just normalize it also yes right now okay so everything is perfect so let's run it and let's see what we will have i'm running it so yes we are getting the data so name achilles is so likewise you can just query from your semi structured data like json or array data types in my next video we will learn how we can select data from nested jsons so if you haven't subscribed the channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you like the video then please hit the like button also see you in my next video thank you for watching jai hind